and I'll, I'll get you. Um, just when you come up, these are the names that aren't on the list. Come up, uh, just say and spell your name again for the stenographer. Um, I ran out of ink, so I have this. Uh, my name is Rebecca Roter, R E B E C C A. R-O-T-E-R, -E and I live 575 Turnpike Road, Brooklyn, PA. It's a Kingsley, PA mailing address, 18826. And I'm going to read my prepared statement, which is about three minutes, and then just go off the cuff. And my prepared statement is very polite. I, I thank DEP for the opportunity to comment about the Williams Central Compressor, a.k.a. the Williams Midstream Central Station, per Williams pre-file application with FERC. I ask DEP to inform FERC that this compressor station will be part of the start of the proposed 30 inch transmission FERC project, the Constitution Pipeline. FERC rep Charlie Brown told me Williams had stated this station is not and will never be part of the Constitution Pipeline. DEP permitted this 54 acre site originally with a GP5 for two engines. You don't need 54 acres for two engines. It was permitted as a minor source air source, that's why it was a GP5. Yet Williams clearly intends this to be the first compressor station on a 120 mile FERC regulated 30 inch transmission line. This is segmentation. And then on your pre-file application, this is clearly the Williams Central Midstream Station. I asked DEP to do their own analysis of the greenhouse gas emissions Williams has projected for this Williams Central compressor, a five engine compressor, for now. I asked DEP to require an air pollution dispersal study using EPA's model to conduct such a study to be concerned about public health. I live on the hill, a mile down the hill, so this is very personal to me. Mr. Kemper knows that. I thank DEP for planning to do a year-long air quality study in Susquehanna County and ask that you add an ozone monitor to the study. I thank DEP for issuing ozone air quality alerts for wilkes barre Scranton as of August 1st, 2012. I would request an ozone monitor be added in Susquehanna County as we are slated for 26 more natural gas compressors. This will significantly <coughs> add to our ozone level and definitely affect our health. Ozone you know affects public health. I asked DEP to, to perform an aggregate air study for our northeast region as you have done for the north central as they understand it. Our, our area is one of the most active shale areas with air impacts from increasing numbers of compressors, flaring, mole pads. Do an aggregate air study before you issue any more permits. I think the air study DEP plans, the air study that you plan for Susquehanna County is a good start and would ask for a permanent regional air quality monitoring station as we have many new sources of air pollution itemized in tons per year in every air quality permit you issue for every single compressor. For VOCs, NOx, sulfoxides, and HAPs, hazardous air pollutants, and those are your terms. I would like to see DEP keep a rolling total for all the aggregate air pollution you permit for our breathing air for the natural gas industry by region. Add up all the tons per year in every major category for every region so you can tell us how many tons per year aggregate you're permitting for our lungs. Sorry. I would like to point out, we learned from the Williams Lather compressor explosion last March, no agency has public oversight for public safety in pipeline gathering line accidents. In class one rural areas, FERC regulated, like the Constitution pipeline, there are no provisions made for public safety or routine inspection. In both cases, the operator, Williams, has sole oversight over pipeline safety. Additionally, pipeline fatalities in class one areas and high consequence areas Rural areas like we all live in, for the most part, most of Susquehanna County is class one. The operator does not need to report pipeline related fatalities. You're looking at most of us. So if I die in a pipeline, Williams pipeline accident doesn't have to be reported. That marginalization of human life. Is no one accountable to us for our own safety? And will DEP continue to issue permits for compressors knowing there is no oversight for our health or our safety? I can't say anything, sorry. Yeah, one more. One more.